So we're finally at the end of the week of me guest uploading for the Dark Magician Duelist. We started off with a Magic Bullet deck profile. In the middle of the week, we kind of got a peek at the new Link monsters that are going to be released to us in the Link Reigns pack. So how do we end off a week of guest uploading? Pretty simple, actually. Product review. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me, Danny, and once again, cannot say it enough. Thank you so much, Dark Magician Duelist, for the opportunity to get uploading your channel. Today, I'm here to bring you guys a product review on the Ultimate Guard deck box. Now, this deck box was actually not recommended to me. Um, I just randomly bought it because uh, I won some credit at my locals recently, and I was just like, you know what? Let me buy the deck box. Let me see how it is. Let me see what I like about it. And I gotta say, it's a pretty solid deck box, you know? Um, I actually have one, let me uh, turn my notifications off real quick, I apologize for that, but I actually have one of the deck boxes already unpackaged, I'm just showing like, this is the packaging that uh, it comes in, you know, simple, 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 ultimate guard, right there, but this is what the box like actually looks like, um, this is a different color, it's my friend's, uh, because he's letting me borrow his deck that I've been using recently, and the deck box itself like, it's like a normal deck box it opens up pretty normal um, I actually like how this opens up it um, it's gonna it's kind of weird to say but it opens up easier than the ultra pro deck boxes the uh, Cinderella one. Let me show you guys right here so like these little ones like I always have like like trouble like opening them because like usually like the flap is like kind of janky and stuff but yeah we're gonna close that up for now but this this is pretty solid. I would actually uh, recommend this for people to use as their choice of deck box. Like it's pretty solid. It can actually hold like a lot of cards. Like if we get a side by side view of how many cards like this thing can hold, like this could hold two, almost two ultra pro deck boxes. Like it's a pretty big deck box. Now that's also a flaw of it that it is pretty like hefty. So you can't like grab and go. Like if you're going to a friend's house to play cards, you, you can't like nonchalantly throw like something small like this into your pocket meanwhile you have this big behemoth of a deck box that you have to carry around but I think that's like a, a minor flaw that people could overlook I'm pretty sure like it does take up backspace a lot versus a regular ultra pro deck box because as you can see like this is pretty small versus something that's like actually pretty huge but the, as far as the inside goes uh, each deck box does contain a divider because it does hold a lot of cards. It says it holds 100 singles and it holds 80 double sleeved cards. Now, of course, in Yu-Gi-Oh, we don't double sleeve, but uh, you get the point that it can hold a lot of sleeved cards. So it could potentially hold up to two decks. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that. Maybe if you're like a casual player and you don't really go to competitive tournaments, you can hold like two decks that you can put in here when you go to a buddy's house or maybe a a uh, little small event that you have with your friends you could just put two decks in here and you'd be good to go but if you were to use this for like a singular event uh, I wouldn't recommend it because like I said it's really bulky um, there's a lot of unnecessary space to just to hold one deck an extra deck and a side deck um, I probably would put it in like a uh, one of those regional boxes that uh, Konami gives out the leather ones um, I believe they're leather boxes or you get a uh, double deck box to do it like that. I wouldn't recommend throwing all that in a ultra pro deck box. Like I said, these are pretty compact. Uh, but meanwhile, this has a lot of unnecessary space if you fill it all in there. So I wouldn't recommend it for that. But like I said, if you're like some sort of deck collector or a deck hoarder and you want to be able to fit multiple decks without having to like lose these small ones, definitely I recommend buying this. So like like I said, over like overall, this is a pretty solid deck box. Uh, I do see myself buying more of these in the future because I do like to have multiple decks on me at a time and monster deck boxes, uh, double deck boxes like these, um, like these, I believe these are about like $11 for these and they're about like the same width as an ultra pro deck box. Um, but these, uh, I think I bought this at my local, well I bought the, the white one at my locals for about $8 so you guys can determine which one do you prefer the double deck box for single players or the double deck box for single player that's a deck order uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to fit two decks and extra deck and uh, side deck into one of these boxes I would definitely recommend fitting two decks into here so yeah that's gonna be my review for today uh, let me know what you guys think if you personally have used ultimate guard products 
because uh, I don't want to just blindly uh, start buying this product thinking that it's good and then turns out everything that shines is in golden <laughs> so yeah like I said I really like the deck and they have a lot they have like a variety of colors they have uh, white they have teal they have red they have black they have green you know something like the regular old four deck boxes but like I said this is the review I'm going to give you guys for today I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm really really thankful for Dark Vision Duels like I said I can't say it enough for allowing me to guest upload on your channel I really appreciate the opportunity and I hope that we can maybe do this in the future maybe you can upload for me next week you never know so like I said thank you so much thank you guys for watching and let me know like I said if you guys ever use Ultimate Guard and your experiences with it this is Daniel San from Overgrind signing out and I will see you guys next time and if you want to catch more of me, like I said, go over to my channel and subscribe so you guys can see more of me. And potentially, you'll see Dark Vision Duels uploading on my personal channel. So, let's look forward to that. So, have a good Black Friday, people. Don't get killed over TVs and have a good weekend. Peace.